What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be modifying the enclosure we made in the previous video to have some LED lights. Um, I've 3D printed a tube um, for the filament to fill, feed through and put a latch on the door to help it keep it closed when it's printing ABS. So let's get into it. So these are the LEDs we have decided to use, they're some brand, <laughs> they're off Amazon, links will all be in the description, but they're LED um, like little stick lights, these uh, stick on lights, and they're 6400K, so equivalent to like daylight, so they're nice and bright, so you turn them on and woof, lovely jubbly. So the plan is, is to have this inside, it will go up around and around, hopefully light this up nicely and then uh, maybe a set along the back, I haven't decided yet, it depends if we can wire it into the same thing, so uh, we'll see how that comes out. Just as a quick tip before you stick anything on to anything else, as <laughs> uh, a general rule you want to make sure the area is nice and clean, so um, any sort of isopropyl or rubbing alcohol is a really good way of making sure this is all well, dirt and grease free before you stick it on that way then when you stick it on it will stay stuck and it won't come off <laughs> Okay, apologies if you can hear the 3D printer in the background, but uh, in this section we're just marking, drilling and screwing the latch on the side of the enclosure to help keep it closed. So we'll do that and show you the result. Okay, the last step is just to drill the hole bigger in the top and place in the 3D printed tube. Well, there you have it, there's the uh, completed modifications. I think this will be a really big help, especially seeing inside the uh, the enclosure as well as doing some videos of, of the enclosure, which is quite cool. The addition of that 3D printed tube has been a real big help uh, because it was sort of getting caught on the sort of fiberboardy cardboard bit of the enclosure itself. So having that's really helped. Um, and also just 3D printing ABS in general with this enclosure has actually worked really well. So uh, hopefully a few more videos with uh, ABS and more exotic filaments coming up soon. But yeah, hopefully in the next few videos there are going to be some um, more robot stuff. Uh, I'm still waiting on the, the scooter motor and things like that. Um, but hopefully when we get that, prototype everything, once everything is to size we can start getting the plastic and that kind of thing which would be cool and uh, hopefully more ABS videos and stuff like that coming soon. Also a big thank you to uh, the Notorious227 or Voxel227 or whatever the hell he's calling himself these days for uh, filming and helping with the project so go and check him out on what, Facebook, YouTube and stuff, whatever you fancy. You do not look amused at all. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you next time. Ta-ta!